what's going on guys, it's Brown Superman's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com and in this video I'm going to give you my weekly picks for new comic books that are coming out Wednesday, July 10th, 2019. Now if this is your first time on my channel, I do a lot of comic book and pop culture related content, so please click that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification so that way you'll always be notified when a future video drops. Great week for comics. Last week had a bunch of comics that Kind of caught some people by surprise. Yes, Walking Dead 193, the news came out on that before release, but Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 95, I think a lot of people weren't ready for that. So who knows what this week will have, but let's get into the picks. We kick this week off with Black Hammer Justice League number one. We have a crossover with Dark Horse and DC Comics when a strange man simultaneously arrives on a Black Hammer farm and a metropolis. This looks like a killer crossover. A lot of Black Hammer fans out there. A lot of Justice League fans out there. So I'm looking forward to this. This is also going to have four different covers for it. There's a regular Michael Walsh cover. There's a regular price Andrea Sorrentino variant. There's a regular price Yannick Paquette variant. And a regular price Jeff Lemire variant. I like the Jeff Lemire variant just because he's attached to the book. But that and the regular cover would be the covers that I would pick up. Next up we have Batman number 74. This is going to conclude the fall and the fallen storyline right before Tom King gets into the final arc on his Batman run, which he promises will change the Dark Knight forever. In this issue, we get why Flashpoint Batman has dragged Batman into the desert and who's in that coffin they've been dragging the whole time. There's got two different covers for it. There's a regular cover by Mitch Gerads, and there's also a regular price variant for this as well. Next up, we have Detective Comics number 1007. This brings us to the finale of the Spectre Dead on Arrival. It's got two different covers for it. There's a regular cover by Kyle Hotz, as well as a regular price variant by Dan Quintana. Next up, we have Event Leviathan number two. Now, if you've been watching my channel or even the Thursday Night Bolo show, the weekly picks, we're big on Event Leviathan when I say we talking about my co-host on the CBSI Bolo show, Jack DeMeo, aka Mr. Bolo. We love this. They didn't bring Michael Bendis to DC for chump change, and this is the event story that he's been working on. Love the first issue, love the action comics building up to Event Leviathan, so I'm going to continue to pick this up. It's going to have two different covers for it. We have a regular cover by Alex Maleev, as well as a regular price variant by Jason Fabak. Love both covers, so if I can, I will pick both up for sure. Flash number 74. Now, I've been loving Flash. Since Rebirth, Flash has been one of those titles that's always on my pool list. We're in the middle of the year one story arc right now. Fantastic story, so definitely going to continue to pick these up. We have a regular cover by Howard Porter, as well as a regular priced variant by Evan Doc Shaner. Naomi number six. Yes, a lot of people in this, a lot of comic book collectors have kind of started shying away from Naomi, but I'm staying true to it. Again, goes back to Michael Brian Bendis. This character, I think, is going to be around for a while. If people start shying away, pick them up because there's going to be less ordered, which is going to give a little print run. And when the character continues to pop, who knows what's going to come out in this issue. But I enjoy the story nonetheless, so I'm going to continue to pick it up with Naomi number six. Superman number 13. This is another Brian Michael Bendis story, but I, for one, didn't really like when Brian Michael Bendis took over Superman. I enjoyed the Rebirth Superman. It was one of the best runs that I've read in a while. There's two covers for it. There's a regular Ivan Rice cover, but the cover I like for this, which I haven't been picking up a lot of his art lately, but I do like the Adam Hughes cover. It's got the Lois Lane portrait on it. And as people might know, I'm a sucker for yellow covers. It's got a really hint of the yellow in the background, but either way, I like that Adam Hughes cover, so that's the one I'm gonna be picking up. Young Justice number seven. Again, Brian Michael Bendis with us. He's like the Donny Cates of DC right now. Donny Cates seems to be writing everything Marvel. Brian Michael Bendis is writing a lot of DC titles. But this is one of my favorite titles from DC right now. Love Young Justice. Love the Young Justice cartoon. So I've been enjoying this series. So I'm going to continue to pick this up as well. It's going to have two different covers for it. We have a regular cover by John Timms. As well as a regular priced variant by Riley Rossmo. Here we have Bitterroot one-shot summer special. Now, a lot of people, Bitterroot kind of took off. A lot of people weren't expecting that great story. Plus, it's recently been an option, so Bitterroot is definitely a popular title. This one-shot special is going to be six different short stories about the family. 
So I'm gonna pick this up. Don't think there's gonna be a lot of speculation value. Who knows, they might introduce a new character of some sort. But either way, I'm picking it up just for the love of the story and the title. Reaver number one. This comes from Justin Jordan. Fantastic writer, really nice guy. If you ever get a chance to meet him at a Comic-Con, he loves to talk to people and he's really, really sincere and nice. Plus he writes some great comics. Luther Strode was fantastic, but Reaver number one, new series from Image Comics this week. To me, it kind of reminds me of like a Suicide Squad type movie where they enlist the help of criminals to help save the world. Read the synopsis, looks like a fantastic story, so I'm definitely picking it up this week. Unearth number one, this is a new image series from writer Cullen Bunn and Kyle Strom with Baltimore Rivas on art, where a flesh warping disease savages a small town in Mexico and a scientific task force travels to investigate the disease where they end up finding a hostile ecosystem which they might never escape. Cullen Bunn, fantastic horror writer, love Kyle Strom as well, so I'm definitely in this for at least the first arc. There's gonna be two different covers for it. There's a regular Baltimore Rivas cover, as well as a regular price variant by Kyle Strom. Keep in mind also this week from Image Comics, there's a second printing for Sonata number one. That title's really starting to catch on, so be on the lookout for that. Black Cat number two. I'm still not completely sold on this series. I don't know how well Black Cat does as a self-title. I always think it's more of a better supporting character, but there are some great covers for it as well. J. Scott Campbell's doing the regular covers on that, so you get popular art at a cover price. But there's also four more covers for this issue as well. We have a regular price Carnageized variant by Mark Brooks. Love that cover. There's a 1 in 25 incentive variant for this as well as a one in 50 incentive variant. And then we also have a Terry Dotson hidden gem variant. Again, I love the covers and the art better than the story so far, but I'm gonna pick it up, continue to read it, and hope that it gets better, but I still don't see this series lasting very long. So pick it up for the art at least, and that's why it's in the weekly picks. Here we have Invisible Woman number one. Years ago, she undertook an espionage mission with S.H.I.E.L.D. and now it's up to her to save her partner from international terrorists. There's got four different covers. Love the regular Adam Hughes cover, so definitely pick that up. There's also a great regular price variant by Stephanie Hans, as well as an incentive variant by Steve McNiven, and an incentive hidden gem Jack Kirby variant. Marvel Tales Captain America number one. Every one of these Marvel Tales issues, they reprint previous character stories, but the Jim Bartel covers have been fantastic. Really pick it up on the secondary market. This has a regular cover by Jim Bartel, as well as a Virgin variant by Jim Bartel. Now I've seen mixed pictures. One has the Virgin variant as the same as the regular cover like the other Marvel Tales have, but a lot of the solicits, I'm seeing a brand new cover for that Virgin variant. Savage Sword of Conan number seven. Conan the Barbarian and Savage Sword of Conan are two titles from Marvel that I have in my pull list every month right now. Love those stories. This book is written by Jim Zub. It's got a regular cover by Marco Cicciato, as well as an incentive variant for this issue. Thor number 15. This brings us to the epilogue of War of the Realms. Huge Thor fan. Love Jason Aaron's run on this. So I'm continuing to pick this up. Plus, Jason Aaron's getting ready to end his run on Thor. He's been with this series since 2012. I've been actually pull box and Thor since that huge Thor run in my collection right now. But Jason Aaron, Epilogue to War of the Realms. It's gonna have a regular cover by Mike Mondo, which is the solicits is classified. Then it's also gonna have a regular price Mike McCone Carnageized variant. Venom number 16. We got Donny Cates back right in this title. It picks up right at the end of War of the Realms. Eddie Brock has lost his symbiote and is all boohoo about it. This is going to have a regular cover by Josh Kasra, as well as a regular price Carnageized variant by Ron Lim. Wolverine vs. Blade special number one. You're starting to see Blade appear more and more in some of these comic books. I think that's a lot of foreshadowing. A lot of people love Blade. A lot of people are hoping there's a new Blade movie. But Wolverine vs. Blade special number one looks to be fantastic. It's got three different covers for it. There's a regular cover. There's a regular priced variant by Matteo Scalera, but what I like and what is my pick of the week this week is the Incentive variant by Gabrielle Del Otto. The only thing that might hurt this is store exclusive variants, but I love this Gabrielle Del Otto cover just for the collection, and I think store exclusive or not, this is going to be still a hot cover, and you'll see it rise on the secondary market. Go Go Power Rangers number 21. This comes from Boom Studios. We've had two interviews now with Arun Singh, the VP of Marketing. If you haven't watched it, definitely recommend watching it, especially the micro content on the channel, exclusive about Power Rangers, but he talked the importance of how Power Rangers number 40 kicks off a brand new arc that's gonna have a huge 
reveal at the end, as well as Go Go Power Rangers number 21 that's going to tie into that. Ryan Parrott's writing the story for this. Arun himself said, do not sleep on this issue, so I'm definitely going to be picking it up. It has four different covers for it. We have a regular cover. We have a regular price Mercado variant. There's a regular price FOC variant, as well as an incentive variant for this issue. For me, I like the regular cover and especially the incentive cover, but another one I think that FOC variant, that's one that's added right before FOC, so might not be as many available, but I'm just not a huge fan of that art for it. Either way, might be less of those out there, so it's worth taking a look at. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, July 10th, 2019. As always, comment down below. Let me know what books you guys are picking up, especially if they aren't in this video, because that's how I get turned on to new titles that are worth reading, because I trust the Simple Man's Comics community. But also, question of the day. What is your favorite comic book movie? And let me know in the comments below as well. This is Brian with Superman's Comics, and I'll see you guys next week.